Well, I love Westerns. I have a friend, good friend. She was a year older than me, so she may have been 10, I may have been nine. Every house did not have a television set, so it was like you'd go to someone else's house and you'd watch TV. Then we look at the Westerns, and I'm saying, all right, get them, get them, get them. But my friend was looking, and she was talking to the Native Americans. I said, Joyce, why are you pulling for the Native Americans? And she said, because it's their land. When I start talking to people, I always say, I'm going to use an ugly word that you don't want to hear, and it's the R word, which is reparations. I have three names that I go by. One is Wilma Elaine Liverpool. The other is Queen of Reparations, and the other one is Miss Poverty. I live the life of poverty in America. I was born in Durham, North Carolina at what used to be Lincoln Hospital. That's where African Americans could go if you had the money. We went to live on Glen Street and it was a small house, but that's where we went to live until the late 60s and that's when Urban Renewal decided to raise its ugly head. The nickname used to be Negro Removal because when it was decided that your community was maybe a little too prosperous, and it happened all across this country, that they had to have a highway come through the middle of the communities and they destroyed the communities. Poverty is not natural, it's man-made. And here in America, boy, it's man and woman made. When you go back in my history and there are 350 plus years of forced free labor. Everyone is born with creativity. Here in, in America, if you don't have the finances, you never get a chance. And so many children I look at could be poets, writers, and artists but because that lack of money that's never gotten down to them, it's not there. And those are lives that just, I hobble into meetings with my crutches and when things are said that are not true or if it's incomplete, I make sure I give the truth side of what the answer should be. And people usually don't like to see me come in. It's like, oh God, here she is again. Because if you're talking about justice, you got to step on some toes. My community is seen as always needing, always wanting. So, yeah, you need it because it hasn't been given to you. You want it because it is yours. Give a man his wages that are due, else it becomes a sin to you. Till justice rolls down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. A change is coming. It's not far in the future. No one's going to be able to stop it. And I think the reason a lot of people don't want to see that change come is because of fear. They fear that if I come up 
to their level that retribution may be on the horizon, but justice is on the way.